Right. Um, hello everyone. Thanks for joining our the Korea's Open Community Session. Um, we are from four different communities. Can you see me? Yeah. So including Cloud Bank Raven, Uman Local Seoul, um, C Plus Plus Korea, and Uman Korea Community. And we have only 20 minutes, and we are going to talk about all our communities. So time is running out. So let's hurry. So first of all, I'm Justin. Uh, from Club and Weber. So I'm going to talk about what we are doing and why we started this community on behalf of the club community. So let's think about this number. Can you guess what this number is about? 52 million. Yeah? Mm, right. So I will add another number, 26 million. So can you guess this time? That's correct. So this is uh, the total population in South Korea, and surprisingly, the half of this population live in Seoul metropolitan area. I don't think this is a good idea because the rest of the land are utilized inefficiently. So this is an infographic um, has become, which has become the popular last year, and which is about nine ways to see South Korea. And I got my eyes caught in the sixth one, which is this one. So this is what, how Seoul people see the whole country. And as you can see, uh, at the bottom, this is um, the Jeju Island, which is known as Tangerine. And that's uh, the blue one, is a Busan, which is known as Beach. And can you see the red one? This is uh, Incheon, which is known as Airport. And the yellow one is Gangwon Province, which is known as Potato. And the other place is just simply as no. That's how some people see the whole country. And I live in the area of no. So, um, what does this mean? It actually has a sort of um, a serious issue in terms of the information flow. So it has resulted in the information only stays in Seoul. So as a result, we've seen this kind of a social phenomenon called digital divide or digital um, ex extremization. So it's not good at all. So all the information should be transparent and accessible from everybody. Therefore, we started this cloud bandwagon community to let the information flow outside, um, out of Seoul. So, but how can we do this? We cannot do this by ourselves solely. So, we need to make allyship with developer communities in the regional area, as well as student communities, right? And we have these six people for the within these uh, cloud and web communities. And three of us are working as a developer, which is in developer relations. And the other three is an industry expert, um, specializing in like cloud infrastructure or programming language or AI or machine learning. So, um, as the cloud bandwagon activities, we focus on these three categories because um, they, these are demand from the local uh, regional developer communities. First is develop, uh, cloud technologies, and second is open source technologies, and the last one is career development. So, uh, what we have done so far, we have uh, run a few, uh, several of the sessions, and this is the first one, which was in May last year, and we get we got the 20 people. This is the beginning. And we ran another one in July in Daegu. And this time we collaborated with GDG Daegu. And this is the one, another one in Jinju, uh, November last year. This time we worked with Gyeongsang National University. And this is the latest one. And this time again in Daegu. But this time we worked with local council. And as a result, we got a lot of attention from the local communities. So we just started this community. And we got, it seems to be, we are growing. But I think this is illusional because we need to think about, we need to think about how we can sus, uh, make sustainability. And we still need to long way to go. So how can you do this? Please keep an eye on it. And uh, we need your support, we need your attention, right? So. Please stay tuned at dependent.cloud, right? And we will be able to see um, share a lot of information. Also, we can 
you know, open to expand to across the whole Asian region. Thanks for listening. I will hand over to Yeonjang from Umano Kota South. Thank you, Justin, for your amazing introduction. Hello, everyone. I'm Yeon Jung, AI lead from the Women at Coastal. Yeah, before I get started, I would like to introduce about Women at Code, which is the largest and most active community for technical women in the world. So, Women in Code is an international non-profit organization founded in 2011 to inspire and empower women in technology. So, our mission is empowering diverse women to excel in their technology careers. And we aim to make a tech industry where diverse women and excluded people thrive at every level. Women of Coast started as a small community group in the San Francisco and quickly expanded around the world. As a result, we now have a strong and expanding global network with 320,000 mem members across 147 countries all around the world. And in South Korea, we have a Seoul network, which is the one of the most active. So I'm going to introduce about Women in Code Seoul. We launched it in May 2019, and currently we are one of the fast growing and leading women tech community in South Korea. Now I'm going to share what we did for the last few months. So first of all, First Asia, we collaborate as a community members, a community partner with First Asia and delivers five minute talk and online gathering in the last year. And Nate IT, we are providing information about different tech laws by interviewing with women from a range of positions. And that's content productions. We have been creating inside first content such as DEI, which is diversity, equality, and inclusion, and some other technology information such as screen framework, NFT, and more. So next. Translations. We translated Women in Code's official blog from English to Korean, so that provide uh, in order to provide Korean tech people with easy access to valuable content. And Women in Code's are on big event. We had a very variety of interactive workshop and networking sessions that enables women in tech to connect, learn and grow together. And next, collaboration with Samsung. Our leaders share in, uh, inside stories such as career, their career journey, community stories, or deep tech. And we have a, a networking session together with the different community in South Korea. Last but not least, Mentoring session, our leaders share their experience on front end and AI to support and empower next generations of tech professionals. So yeah, uh, still we are trying our best to inspire more women in tech in South Korea. And in this year, 2023, we plan to organize more accessible programs to support more women in tech and focus on the global movements to empower leaders across the industry. So please take a look if you are interested in collaborating with us or reaching out to us to support more women in tech together. 
So you can connect us to our official email, uh, womenicosoul at gmail.com. So yeah, keep turning, eye, turning your eyes on and yeah, support us. Thank you for listening and I'm going to turn over to uh, Duma. Greetings, folks. I'm Park Dong Ra from Seoul, Korea. Uh, let me start my part. Okay, here is. Uh, there's a very common question we receive. Uh, why you started this community? Uh, honestly, C++ uh, programming language is quite hard to study, and it has multiple uh, standards from ISO committee. Uh, but from, uh, literally, or I was two chance in one-time environments. Um, and each has some type of specific APIs. For instance, in the Apple platform, you have to run the Xcode. Uh, in Windows, you can run Visual Studio. And in Linux, you can sort of uh, combine multiple two chains. Uh, and most of all, the language is one of the oldest, uh, which means the spectrum of the C++ users is really a pro. Uh, really pro. Uh, you may have heard about the book series teach yourself something in 21 days. Uh, this humorous cartoon describes how it actually works. Uh, beginner will learn this language in 21 days and start the uh, person's career for two years. And professional developer will use, for, use this language for about 10 years, multiple projects, and learn from their colleagues. Uh, at some point, uh, you suddenly start learning physics and quantum, gra quantum gravity uh, for another 10 years. And, and next, uh, spend another 20 years to learn biochemistry, uh, genetics, or another two, uh, <coughs> genetics. Finally, uh, you go back to 21st day and replace yourself. What a story, isn't it? So therefore, uh, we are maintaining a place for people who want to make detailed questions and discussions in their mother tongue, I mean, a Korean language. Uh, we started in Facebook in um, 2013 because it was an easy platform to create community for years. Uh, we posted questions, discussed them in comments. Of course, uh, Korean C++ users use stable call or there is a simply like Slack channel. After the foundation, we focused on archiving some useful learning materials, especially for beginners. Uh, seminar, translation, and readings together. Uh, after the pandemic, uh, we wrote our code of conduct for online activity. Uh, sometimes open the study group in video call. Currently, we are moving back to offline, uh, organizing some small meetups every two months, and planning to open one day technical seminar and sometimes YouTube video creation. Okay, finally, our re this is our recent concerns. Our first goal is to found a non-profit corporation. Uh, we need to gather some sponsors, and we have to have a duty to provide some clear financial reports about it. Uh, the second reason is making ease of compliance with companies. Uh, there are some long stories about this, if you are curious about it, you can visit our booth and uh, share some knowledge with me. Okay, uh, and the next one is for better communication. We are trying Discord uh, to support more instant chat-based discussions or questions uh, rather than Facebook. Uh, okay, this is thanks for listening. Uh, this is the end. Uh, next is Ubuntu Korea community. I will forward this remote control to Yongbin. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, Doma, for the uh, introduction. So, uh, my name is Youngbin, and I'm going to talk about the Ubuntu Korea community that I'm involved as so, uh, organizations. Uh, so, there are many local Ubuntu communities around the world, and we're one of them uh, based in South Korea, and we started our community in 2005. Uh, and we usually organize some uh, local Ubuntu meetups and activities to promote Ubuntu Linux and, and related officers in South Korea. So, uh, we're usually active on, on both online and in person. Uh, for online, we have our own 
uh, online forum uh, where people can ask them uh, Ubuntu questions, like like uh, Ubuntu not comparable with my data, or when someone uh, delivers some uh, answers, meet you, something like that. <laughs> Blue chat also available, but like um, we have IOC and metrics, and we also have our own wiki uh, for documenting some specific case studies for the uh, Korean users. Uh, for the person activities, uh, we organize seminars where people can share their uh, experience around Ubuntu and workshop to have some newcomers to get used to Ubuntu. Uh, since Ubuntu itself is a platform used by a wide range of users, uh, we also frequently collaborate with other uh, host communities in uh, South Korea uh, for some joint events. Um, through the Ubuntu Asia and Ubuntu Summit, we also exchange with other local Ubuntu communities such as Ubuntu Japan, Taiwan, Malaysia, and uh, much more to share and learn how they use or contribute to Ubuntu. We, uh, we are mostly uh, people of Ubuntu users, but we also encourage people to contribute to Ubuntu projects by participating in local agencies or recording boards, uh, which is important to improve visibility for the Korean users. Uh, for past few years, uh, we've been putting many efforts on Ubuntu Asia, uh, which is started in 2021, and to make a place for gathering Ubuntu users and contributors uh, uh, by, uh, for many countries in Asia. Uh, Ubuntu local community in Asia is actually not much active compared to other region, even if it's, it, 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 it will be active, it was quite difficult to reach out. But with some um, see success from our first two events, we're now seeing uh, many local communities get back slowly. Uh, I think Indonesia community would be a uh, uh, good example as they're trying to preserve their community by organizing Umukon Asia in Sarkanda, Indonesia. It's October. Uh, there are many large gatherings for Ubuntu Talk, such as uh, Ubuntu Summit, which was formerly Ubuntu Developers Summit, and there are also other many Ubucons in the other continent, like Ubucon at scale, Ubucon Europe, Latin America, and uh, Korean community is also uh, thinking about organizing Ubucon Korea this year. While we have been focusing on global activities by this year, we are now trying to put more focus on local activities this year. Uh, starting from revamping our online forum uh, using this course, and supporting Dragon Developer Day, uh, which was organized by Cloud Bandwagon, Cloud Bandwagon uh, earlier this year, we plan to start organizing our periodic seminars and transaction workshop again to gather people in person. And we also continue to uh, revamp our online services like our wiki and our online chat, uh, which is outdated a bit or need some, uh, some new approach. Um, as I mentioned, um, Ubuntu Korea is also planned. Uh, and also, if you got any details on Ubuntu Asia or Ubuntu Summit this year, um, we also plan to participate and uh, exchange with other Ubuntu folks. So, um, that's for the Ubuntu Korea, and if you would like to learn more about us, you can uh, feel free to visit our website or contact us uh, via email. So, uh, that's all for the uh, Korean Open Community session. Uh, if you would like to learn more about us, you can scan the QR code right here, or we have our booth right there on your back. Uh, kind of, would you like to raise your hand? Oh, yeah, 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 there is. You can see that. Uh, feel free to visit our booth and ask some questions about us, and then you can learn more about us. So, um, thank you for joining our session. See you around or see you at the booth. Thank you for joining.